The following program was produced in the Dr. Keiko Miwa Ross WPSU Production Studio in University Park, Pennsylvania. Food, a basic necessity. We all need nutrients to survive and thrive. Whether your meals come from the field, the fridge, the treasured family recipe, or the takeout menu, something special happens when we come together and share a meal and a common bond. Culinary Connections is where we celebrate the people and places that use food to connect with the world around them. Today we'll introduce you to the team from Good Day Cafe, which serves more than just breakfast and lunch in the State College area. It would just be an Yeah. Here's your latte. Thank you very much. Katie Felice, welcome to the Culinary Connections Kitchen. And later, Katie and Zach will show you how to make a sweet treat, chocolate chip scones. I'm Tamara Fatemi Body, and welcome to Culinary Connections. Support for Culinary Connections is provided in part by Bobby Rahal Honda of State College. Tom and Sarah Songer of the Toron Group in State College, a proud supporter of programming on WPSU. More information at torongroup.com. And by viewers like you. Thank you. Oh, Good Day Cafe is so many things. Good Day Cafe means happy. We are on a mission here at Good Day Cafe. We are on a mission to offer employment and success to people with disabilities. What's been created here has been this unbelievable coming together of everybody in the community that likes coffee, that cares about our mission, serving people with disabilities, and also it's a pretty nice place to be. Good Day Cafe is approaching a five-year anniversary of offering coffee with a cause. To understand how the cafe came to be, we go back to where it all started, Strawberry Fields. Strawberry Fields is a local nonprofit organization. We serve individuals with mental health diagnosis and intellectual disabilities. We started with group homes for adults with intellectual disabilities and autism. And then as the needs grew, we moved into residential and case management services. Everybody that has a challenge or has a need, you need a safe, happy, healthy home. And then it dawned on us, you need more than a home. You need a place to go to every day where you belong, where you make a contribution. And as an organization, we have seen the struggle of the people that we work with every day, getting a job and keeping a job. The unemployment rate for people with autism, intellectual disabilities, and mental health diagnoses is upwards of 80%. To create change, you need a champion. Roy Love had visited a coffee shop in North Carolina called Biddy and Bo's, and he fell in love with the concept. It was just such a wonderful environment that they were employing folks with, with intellectual disabilities. And so after that, I just said, State College should do this. So we decided that we were going to attempt this concept. If you put Sydney Pasquinelli and Roy Love together on any project, it's going to be gold. We worked together and we were awarded the Center Foundation $100,000 grant that got Good Day Cafe rolling. What surprised Strawberry Fields was the outpouring of support from the community. We had almost everything donated to us. The layout of the cafe, the creation of the name, the whole design here, the community wanted to rally around and support someone who they loved who had been affected by a disability and serve their part within the community. The community cheered as the ribbon was cut, and in August of 2018, the doors swung open. I think people are surprised at how beautiful the coffee shop is, how welcoming it is, how clean it is. That's something that our staff takes great pride in. And then when you walk up to the register, 
you have an individual who typically is someone who has a disability and incredible customer service. Hi, welcome to Good Day Cafe. What can I get for you? Usually up front, we have someone on register. And then in the kitchen, we have a line cook. And then we have prep cooks and kitchen backs. And then a barista. My name's Oliver Robin Poro. That's olive, like the little fruit thingy, uh, with an R at the end. And Robin is in the bird, which we have many of here in Central PA. I've worked at Good Day Cafe around six to seven months, and it's been amazing ever since I started working here. Good Day Cafe gave me the opportunity to slowly build up my skills and my strengths. And I went from being able to barely do two shifts in a week from just sheer exhaustion to nearly working every day. I like to meet people where they're at. Some days something works and the next day it doesn't, and that's fine, that's great. We're gonna find a, a way to get you to where you need to be. And let's get the flower, where's the flower? Everybody's got different skills and abilities. You do it. Our goal is to meet them where they are, but then also to see in what ways we can help them grow. It's my first job ever, actually, out of high school, and I was really grateful for the opportunity to just start working, learn how a job environment works, and work with different people. The opportunity for people with disabilities to find gainful employment is um, something that's unique. I have been here four years, and I love every minute of it. Um, everyone's so supportive, and everyone gets along really well. Uh, I work uh, a, good, a good day, a good day, a, 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 a cafe. What do you like to make? Uh, chicken, the chicken pudding. We give them an opportunity to show themselves that, hey, I can do this. I've got some limitations, but I can still accomplish this. People might be surprised to know that almost all of the food that we offer is made in-house. Everybody loves our gluten-friendly brownie. We have folks that come in specifically for those. We do two paninis that are super popular. One is the cheesy BLT. It's a twist on a BLT in that we do like a roasted garlic tomato instead of a fresh tomato. And we do spinach instead of lettuce. And then we do a chicken panini. It's just kind of gooey and comforting. I'm really proud of the fact that we're not cutting corners and we're not apologizing for who we are, what we do. We're not saying, okay, you know what? We're working with people that have extra needs, so we're gonna make things easier. No, we are house making our pastries. You can walk in here and get a great latte. You can get an awesome breakfast sandwich. I actually discovered it last month and I've loved it ever since, so I keep coming back. And it's really good coffee too. I really love the environment. Everyone's very friendly and very inviting. And also the coffee is amazing. Everything that comes out of the back kitchen is made with love and determination and thought because that's just how they know how to do it. They don't know any other way to make, make food. When they started the cafe, they really focused on having partnerships with local businesses. We have an awesome local partnership with Roth Rock Coffee. They provide opportunities for enrichment and support. They come and they train our baristas. A couple weeks ago, we took a couple of our baristas up to their roasting plant. They gave us a tour. It's something that's been really, really great. The team at Good Day Cafe values employee development. Coffee Fest in New York City happens every year. It's a great opportunity to get lots of ideas. Our barista Oliver came along and it was his first trip to New York City. I got to see the World Championship for Latte Art. I'm quite proud of how far I've come with my own latte art in the last six months, but it was incredible to see just how high that skill ceiling goes. We had a lot of samples, so we were very caffeinated. Oliver came to me and was like, I think I have enough samples. <laughs> I think I have to take a break. <laughs> so it was awesome. I really love coffee. I've always had such a big interest in it. So being able to work with so many different people and be able to learn and hone my skills was like a dream come true. 
There's a passion that Katie has that can't be matched. So we're gonna make Sarah's and Cody's breakfast sandwiches. Got it. She has an ability that is so unique based on her experience as an amazing employee, but also as a mother of a person with a disability. My daughter's name is Emberly. She's seven. And she's a little brother who's almost four. Emberly was born with Down syndrome. She's my motivation, she's my inspiration. After Emberly was born, I thought, you know what, okay, what do we need to do? What supports is she gonna need? Locally, we have a really vibrant Down syndrome society, and making those connections is super important for being the best advocate that you can be. Her early intervention services came from Strawberry Fields, so it's kind of like full circle almost. She's a kid that's full of joy, and I wouldn't trade her Down syndrome. I think it's part of what makes her special, and part of what makes her her. She's making the world a better place, one hug at a time. She likes to hug strangers, so that's fun. <laughs> For us to be able to be a part of this movement to employ people with disabilities and to break those barriers with people with disabilities, it's an honor. I'm super proud to be a part of Good Tank Cafe. Everybody feels welcome here. And I think there needs to be places in our community like that where you can see someone with a disability and it's not a big deal. They belong here, they're part of the community. The foundation of the community in State College is inclusion and empowering all people. And I think Good Day Cafe is emblematic of that spirit. It feels good to walk in the door you're greeted by people who are, who are happy to serve you and excited to serve you. You don't find that everywhere, so it's, it's exciting to be a part of something genuine. I have found friendships, and it's amazing how many bonds I've been able to create here. I look at the individuals that are employed here, and what I see five years later is a completely different individual, and it makes it all worthwhile. Over the last year, I've gotten to really know our staff. I know their quirks and I know their struggles and they're cool people. They're doing some great things. And I get a front row seat. It's really awesome. Katie Felice, welcome to the Culinary Connections Kitchen. So, tell me a little bit about working at Good Day Cafe. Well, every day is a little bit different. So, um, but one of the most Wonderful things about working at Good Day Cafe is that our employees are super excited to come to work and super excited to be there. What are some of the things that you create at Good Day? So we do breakfast and lunch, and we pride ourselves on using lots of fresh ingredients. Um, our paninis are very popular, so we're a business lunch destination, mm -hmm. and then we make all of our pastries from scratch in-house. Great, great. So I think you brought someone with you today who's going to show us exactly how to make one of those amazing pastries. Yep, this is Zach. Yep. <laughs> um, well, by the way, I'm Zach. Um, it is uh, essentially whatever Kay says. It's been a um, future. <laughs> and directly, it looks like this as a, um, as a good pastry dessert. And we just call it as um, scones uh, to make. Great. Make then let's make some scones, right? Yeah. Okay, go, to, go for it. So first we start with the dry ingredients, right? Yeah, that, that one's ready and it's set to go here. Yeah, we've got our flour here. Yeah. And then you want to put the salt in? Yep. Awesome. Then we have baking powder. Yeah, baking powder, yeah. Okay. And sugar. And sugar. Perfect. Okay. And then we just get in there and mix it by hand. So you want to mix that together? Yep, absolutely. So this recipe is fun because everything's with your hands. Looks pretty good. Then what happens next? We gonna add the butter? Yep, butter. Okay. 
So we're gonna add butter. Mm -hmm. And then we use our fingers to press it into the into the dry ingredients. Mm -hmm. You gotta have some pretty strong hands to do that, right? Yeah, sometimes you have to use our um, palm muscle to do it. Well, it's just kind of like, yeah, just scratch it down first. And then plus. And then you would get in there? And yeah, plus, and then I just kind of squeeze. Once it starts to look like coarse crumbs, we add in the milk, right? Correct. Okay. So, and this part, we just mix it together till it's just incorporated. We add in the chocolate chips, right? Correct. Okay. Okay. You look like you want to get in there. Should we get you another glove so you can do this part? Sure. Okay. Okay. Sometimes I'm just kind of like, yeah, flip it on over and just squash it all together. Looks like really. it's pretty good. I think we can weigh some out. Yeah. Yeah? So we weigh our scones out, which at home you might not want, need to do that. But it is um, kind of, um, it's definitely like that. And it helps us get a nice uniform scone, right? They're all the same shape and size? Yeah. So, and just to keep it from sticking. And then your hands? That's correct. There you go. And we're looking for a four ounce scone. So they're pretty jumbo sized. And it does uh, the signal size. And I may uh, look at that, probably. Yep, and these are a drop scone, so we don't uh, roll it out or cut it or anything. We just kind of scoop, and that's the beauty scoop of it. Scoop and drop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's right. Thank All right, you. so we like to do four ounce scones. All right, and it looks like we're fitting about six on a tray, right? Yep. It is a uh, safety like Four plus two, so it goes like four plus two, and then it will say, okay, there'll be equally like six per entree for scones. Okay. Yeah. First we have our egg wash. Oh, right. Zach, you want to show us the egg wash? Absolutely. And we lightly paint on an egg wash, just a little bit of milk and, and one beaten egg. Yeah, absolutely. And that, that helps with the browning. Do you have a favorite flavor scone, Zach? Um, I like any kind of flavor except for the cranberry I don't like. <laughs> Cause even will uh, it's scary, I just, Kind of like, I didn't like cranberry, but I do enjoy like other things. Thanksgiving's not your holiday, I guess. <laughs> they look great. Yep. We actually put a little bit of raw sugar and a glaze on our scones. So you don't have to do both. You want to sprinkle the sugar on? Yep. Those look beautiful, Zach. So what's our next step? The next step is kind of like, um, I guess we um, bake it for, um, how, many, how many minutes you said? We do 13. Like 13 minutes. We rotate the tray. Yeah. And we do 13 more. Exactly. Okay. Go ahead and put those in there. Careful there. All right. 
So while those are uh, in the oven baking, why don't we go on with the next step and you show us how to make the glaze. All right. The glaze works. So we've got powdered sugar. Yep, there's that in there. Yep, and we're just gonna add a little water. Yep, absolutely. So it only takes a tablespoon or two. Zach, you wanna go ahead and? Yep. Add that slowly. So it's, this one's a little bit sticky, huh? Yeah. Yep. Get that out for you. All right, Zach, you want to give that a try? All right, can I give you a hand with that last bit? Go ahead. Thanks. Okay. Does that look pretty good? Good so far. Okay. So, Zach, you're going to show us how to glaze these. Yep. I'm already in second light. It is a uh, little bit to uh, spread all over. So we wait till they're nice and cool? Yep, absolutely. And and then that's how we um, paint them, and um, that's our finished I, I scone. It's like very really perfectly fine. Those look beautiful, Zach. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was wonderful. And now let's look ahead at what's in store for the future of Good Day Cafe. We have lots of things that we'd like to do. One includes expanding our bottled latte program and finding some new places to, to sell those. We were awarded some grant money to buy a truck. And so we are getting this truck on the road to start delivering our food here at Good Day Cafe. We're getting our logo put on that. And that's gonna be super fun. I've been fitting catering orders in my tiny little car. Eventually down the road, we may turn it into a food truck. And to be able to take Good Day Cafe on the road to different festivals, to weddings, to birthday parties. Good Day Cafe offers so much to the community. There's a sense of belonging that's not just for our staff, for everybody that walks through the door. Okay. It is so hard not to have a good day here. Coffee with the cause means so many things. And the cause is supporting folks with disabilities. You do it. Mm. Supporting your neighbors, possibly your family members that have a challenge. We're gonna make Sarah's and Cody's breakfast sandwiches. Got it. We represent an open and inclusive environment here. And I think it starts, you know, one little coffee shop, Good Day Cafe, coffee with a cause. Thanks for watching Culinary Connections. This season on Culinary Connections. What's the secret to good Italian food? Coming from a Sicilian myself, I'd say the love that you put into it, and there's no lack thereof love here. The secret to good Italian food is love and homemade, never giving your secret out. The secret to good Italian food is mama. <laughs> well, the secret to Italian 
cooking is put a lot of love in it. And that's what I've been doing. Brown Dog Catering is named for the brown dog, Jude. So then we didn't want the other dogs to feel left out. <laughs> so it's got the cinnamon batter with uh, white chocolate chips and blueberries, and then we dip the top in sugar. So the Joey Coco is a, a, a Mexican hot chocolate named for our Chihuahua. And Mexican hot chocolates have a little bit of spice in them, a little bit of kick. And then the Jack Muffin is named for our other dog, Jack, who's a big dum-dum. And he's black and white, so it's a dark chocolate muffin with a cream cheese in the center. It's topped with rock sugar. He's weird about rocks. He eats them. He eats them. More episodes of Culinary Connections and a full menu of local programs are available at video.wpsu.org or on the PBS app. And to experience a whole world of international cuisine, check out World Kitchen at wpsu.org slash worldkitchen. On the next Culinary Connections, a family-run Italian restaurant in Altoona. Hi, io sono Mamma Randazzo. A fianco c'è mio figlio Paolo. What she said was, hi, my name is Mama Randazzo. So this is my son, Paul Randazzo. We hope you enjoy watching our episode of Culinary Connection on WPSU. Everything comes from Mama on Culinary Connections.